hello everyone in this video i will be showing you my stock fish stew recipe i am rosie and you are welcome to my kitchen for this recipe you will need stock fish and here i have the stock fish that i'm going to be using nicely cut already i have transferred the stock fish to a bowl and to that i'll be adding salt and hot water i'm going to be soaking this stock fish for some hours you can soak it overnight and you can also boil the stock fish as well but i always like to soak mine before using it because i don't like it too soft and stock fish is also known as oporoko in nigeria and i'm going to give that a stir just to push the stock fish down so um the water can cover it once that is done i'm going to put the cover on it then we leave it to soak and then we start cooking next you're going to need some tomatoes and here i have some fresh ones bell peppers which we call tatashe in nigeria onions i'm using the yellow onions you can use any onions of your choice right here i have ginger garlic and scotch bonnet add pepper to your taste and i have everything nicely washed already so for the bell peppers and tomatoes i took out the seed from the tomatoes and i took out the seed from the bell peppers as well i don't like to use the seed if you like the seed you can go ahead and then blend it with the seed so they are ready for blending so i'm going to blend into a smooth paste and that is done so here i have the blended pepper in the pot so i'm going to leave it to cook down so it can reduce the liquid and that will cut down the cooking process and to reduce the sour taste of the pepper so i place in a wooden spoon there so the pepper doesn't boil out next i'm going to be using avocado oil for this recipe you can use any oil of your choice and here i have chicken stock and you can use any meat stock of your choice as well i'm also going to be using grains of salem which is known as uda seasoned cube and salt so the stock fish is been soaking now for some time i'm going to go ahead to check and at this point i'm okay with the texture so i will go ahead to wash the stock fish off camera and i will be right back so here i have the stock fish nicely washed already so the ones that are very big i have to break those ones into two and the ones that are not so so big i just left those ones like so if you like it in pieces you can just cut it to your desired size and for the pepper has been boiling here for about 20 minutes i will take off the lid and then i will go ahead to check if the pepper is okay and this pepper has really reduced in size and give that a quick stir boiling the pepper before using it will cut down the cooking process of the stew so once that is nicely stirred at this point i'm going to be adding my avocado oil you can use any oil of your choice and i'm using the cook fry method the amount of oil you add to the stew is totally up to you when making nigerian stew you need oil to fry the stew 
If not, the stew is just going to burn. When the stew is ready, if you have a lot of oil on it, you can always scoop out some of the excess oil. So once that is nicely stirred, I will cover and leave it to fry for about 15 to 20 minutes. And this is 15 minutes later. I will check and at this point, this stew has really, really fried. So I just give that a very nice stir. Once the sauce is nicely stirred, add stock at this point, season cube, salt, grates of saline which will take the dish to whole another level, add the stock fish, And then give that a stir. I'll be adding in some water to loosen it up. If you like your stew very light, you can add more water. And then stir. How long you cook stew is totally up to you. I always cook my stew for a longer time because the longer you leave the stew to cook, the tastier the stew will be. I will cover and leave it for another 15 to 20 minutes. And this is 15 minutes later. I will stir. And at this point, the oil has started to settle on top. You will know your stew is ready when you see all on top of the stew, that is when you know your stew is ready. If you have too much oil, you can also scoop out some of the oil and you can also make your stew without adding oil at all. It's totally up to you. So at this point, this stew is ready. I will turn off the stove and this stew was very, very delicious. You can have your stockfish stew with any dish of your choice. Yam, rice, beans. I'm going to be having mine with some rice and some vegetables. And this stew was super, super delicious. And the aroma was just amazing. Thank you all so much for watching. Remain blessed and I will see you in my next video. Bye.